so in LR rotation we have combination of two things which is first we apply RR and then after RR we will apply the LR rotation so let us understand that LR rotation with the help of one example ok so this is the tree in which the balance factor at this point is to the right which is zero node and to uh, sorry to left with having zero node and to right having zero so balance factor is zero okay so at this level balance factor will be to its left there is zero and to its right there is one so balance factor is minus one okay so this is okay for the avl tree this is also okay for the avl tree but at this point the balance factor will be the height at to the left we will have one this and second is this okay so to the left we have two and to the right there is nothing so we can say that it is zero okay so here is the problem for the abl tree okay so we have to apply the rotation lr because the problem is due to left and right so we apply the rotation lr rotation to the tree okay so after applying the LR rotation, the resultant tree will be will be the so first to this tree we will apply the rotation RR. Okay, so in RR rotation we will apply or we will move anti-clockwise these two nodes. Okay, so this is the nodes one and two. So we will move them anti-clockwise. Anti-clockwise means in this direction. Okay. I can say that I will move 2 to here and 1 to here ok so this is done like this 3 is here and 2 will come to this position and 1 will come down ok so next here is balance factor is again 2 minus 0 which is 2 balance factor is 1 minus 0 which is 1 and balance factor is 0 minus 0 which is 0 ok so here first we apply RR rotation and after the RR rotation we will apply first we apply RR which is this and after the RR we will apply the rotation LL LL so in LL we will move this this uh, these two and three nodes clockwise ok so after moving this clockwise the resultant tree will be here tree will be shifted to here and this ok so this is the resultant tree after applying R L R patient to this we will get this and this one is the balance tree let us check the balance factor here the balance factor is 0 minus 0 which is 0 here is also BF is 0 and here balance factor is to its left we have 1 to its right we have same 1 so balance factor is 0 so we can say that the tree is balanced and we can say the tree is avl tree okay so all these this is about rotation in binary search tree to make that avl tree okay okay so let us understand this avl tree with these rotations with the help of one example so example is example Let us take one example in which we have few nodes. And nodes are 14, 17, 11, 7, 53, 
4 and 13 ok so let us start with the first node which is 14 ok so 14 will always be start from here ok so after that next node is 17 and 17 node will be come to the right side because 17 is greater than 14 then I will insert that 17 to its right ok so after that we have 11 so 11 will be inserted to its left side because 11 is less than 14 14 that is its root element then after 11 we have 7 7 will be inserted to the left of 11 because 7 is less than 11 after that we have so one thing uh, we will have to check that the balance factor ok so before let us go back when I will I have insert 7 here then I will have to check the balance factor so balance factor here will be 0 minus 0 because to the left we have 0 to the right we have 0 so balance factor is 0 at this point so then it is ok and same I have to check here the balance factor is to its left we have 1 to its right we have 0 so balance factor is 1 same is here balance factor will be 0 because 0 minus 0 and here the balance factor will be 1 2 2 levels to its right, uh, left 2 minus 1 which is 1 so it is ok for now then after 7 we have 53 ok so 53 will come along this side 53 ok so same the balance factor will go to change little bit to this side ok so balance factor now for this balance factor will be 0 minus 0 for this balance factor will be 0 minus 1 which is minus 1 and here the balance factor will be to its left and to its right means 2 minus 2 which is 0 ok so again up to that point it is ok for it abl3 the next element is 4 which is this the so 4 will be inserted to the left of 7 because 4 is less than 7 and also less than 11 and same also less than 14 so 4, uh, 4 will insert it here but after inserting the 4 I will have to check the balance factor again so balance factor at this point will be 0 minus 0 which is 0 then it is ok so balance factor at this point 1 minus 0 because 1 to its, uh, left is 1 to its right 0 which is 1 so balance factor at this point will be 2 1 2 to its left we have 2 and to its right 0 so 2 ok so this is the problem and problem is due to its left left ok I am repeating here the balance factor here the balance factor at this point creating problem because we have balance factor 2 and ABL say that, that we have to maintain the balance factor either 0 minus 1 or plus 1 but here is the case I am getting the balance factor 2 ok so I have to apply the rotation and the rotation to maintain the balance factor between 0 minus 1 and 1 so when I will apply the rotation LL to this the resultant will be apply LL LL rotation when you apply LL rotation the resultant tree will be will be 14 and in LL rotation we have 
study that we will apply the LR rotation to clockwise. Okay, so then we will move this element to here. So we can say that 7 will come here and 11 will go down and here 4 will be here. And the other will remain as it is. Okay. So after applying LR rotation, I will move this point to to part this, and seven will come here, eleven will come down like this. Okay. So this is the resultant, which is balance, because now the balance factor here is zero. At this point, same two minus two, which is zero, and here is also balance factor will be 1 minus sorry 0 minus 1 which is minus 1 so at this point the tree is balanced okay so after 4 we have to insert 13 okay now so 13 will be inserted to the right of to the right of 11 at here so after inserting the 13 then again I have to check the balance factor at each node so the balance factor at this point we have balance factor will be 0 same here balance factor will be 0 but here balance factor will be balance factor will be to its left we have 0 and to its right we have 1 so 0 minus 1 which is minus 1 that, that is ok 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 but here the balance factor will be to its to its left we have left we have 13 1 minus 2 that is minus 1 that it, it is ok so when I will check at this point the balance factor or the balance factor at this node will be 1 1 2 3 3 is the maximum height and 3 minus 2 which is 1 then it is ok the tree is balanced okay so when i will insert an element which is 12 up to here the tree is balanced but when i am insert an element 12 which is this one then what will happen let us check then i will insert 12 to the 12 will be inserted to the right of so left of 13 okay so now at this point balance factor will be 0 balance factor will be zero, uh, 1 minus 0 which is 1 but here the balance factor for the 11 will be to its left we have 0 but to its right we have 2 1 minus 2 which is minus 2 okay so here is the problem here is I'm um, facing the problem then I have to apply the rotation in which rotation that is the problem is due to its right and left R L because R it's to the uh, right of 11 is 13 and 13 to left is 12 so because this is the problem so I will apply the rotation R L so after applying the rotation R L the resultant tree I will get will be 14 will be at root after 14 we have 17 for 7 then I will have 17 and changes will be occur at this point ok so in LL uh, sorry, RL rotation first I will apply in the LL so in case of LL in case of LL, I will rotate these two this side. Okay, 
uh, I can say that 11 will be here and here 12 will be come here and 13 will be go down like this 12 and here I will have 13 clockwise direction okay in this direction so after applying first we will apply the root in the equation LL then after the LL I will apply then I will apply the RR RR to this tree then the resultant will be resultant tree will be I am writing it here the resultant tree will be 14 7 here I will have 17 and here I will have 11 and after applying the RR rotation <coughs> to this I will have the movement of this like this ok or I can say that this will move to downward so I can say that 12 will be here 11 will come down 13 will be here and up to there 4 will be here 12 17 17 here one more element that is 53 and So now uh, when I will check the balance factor here will be 2 and the maximum load is 1, 2 and 3 means 2 minus 3 which is minus 1 and ok balance factor at this point will be 1 minus 2 which is minus 1. So when, when I will check for all nodes the balance factor will be lies between 0, minus 1 and 1. Okay, so we can say that at this point the tree is balanced. Okay, so all this is about ABL trees, and then we have a binary search tree with the problem of height. Then I will apply the rotations LL, RR, RL, and LR.